San Hanna-Barbera Penitentiary, one of the largest and toughest maximum security prisons in all of Burbank, home to some of the world's most notorious criminals. In 1969, 17 villains were sent to San Hanna-Barbera. All of them are masters of disguise. Most of them are middle-aged men. None of them are very smart. Watch the pretty coin of gold, and you will do as you are told. You are getting sleepy, very sleepy. You are a very sleepy man. You want a book or what? I'll take a Reader's Digest. For the Scooby-Doo villain, San Hanna Barbera represents the end of the line. Due to the harsh living conditions, cramped cells, and iron-fisted discipline, hundreds of escape attempts have been made. All of them looked good on paper. Most of them involved months of planning. None of them ever worked. One of those morons left the front gate unlocked. We could walk right out and kiss this dump goodbye. No, that'll never work. It's too easy. What we need is some glow-in-the-dark pain. I am the film projector! Dry ice! Dry <laughs> ice! <laughs> Hope is a rare commodity at San Hanna-Barbera. The inmates are all serving life sentences with no chance for parole. The interesting thing about San Hanna's parole board is that there isn't one. I'm a different person now, and I think the parole board knows that. In fact, I just got my real estate license. I learned that scaring people away from property only drives down the value of the land. If I'd only known that 30 years ago. But my parents were carny folk. They did the best they could. Give me a minute, would you? <laughs> and so it goes at San Hanna Barbera Penitentiary. Behind this fortress of concrete and barbed wire, the Scooby-Doo villains have a lifetime to come to terms with their crimes against society. Each inmate shackled with the knowledge that they'd probably still be free had it not been for a certain group of meddling kids. <laughs>